Patrick. Hello, Patrick, is that you? Nicholas? Patrick, I'm afraid I have rather bad news. Hello? Hello, Patrick, can, can you hear me? I'm in New York. There appears to be a delay. Can you hear me? Yes. It concerns your father. I can hear you. I'm here. Your father died the night before last in his hotel room. Must come as an awful shock to you. Something like that, yes. I hardly need to tell you how I feel. I adored your father. Everybody liked him. I know he wasn't always the easiest of men. Are you there, Patrick? Yes, I'm here. Where is he now? David, he's at Frank mm. McDonald's, the funeral people on Madison. Everyone goes there. Only the best, or go without, as your father would have said. If you want to see him and collect the ashes, uh, do you have much on? Not at this exact moment, no. Then we must meet up. Why don't we meet at the key club? George Watford's here. We'll raise a glass to your father's extraordinary life. Well, until then, I I'm sorry to be the bearer of such sad tidings. Yes, it's a great blow. Goodbye. How did he die? I forgot to ask. I was too dizzy with glee. I'm sorry, I mean dazed with grief. Mm-hmm. I wonder, could you please stop fiddling with my hair? <sighs> I need a drink. A serious drink. Let's celebrate. We could go out for a glass of wine. Or oh, you're probably not interested, but we have been invited to Gregory and Rebecca's for dinner. Suffering's what takes place when other people are eating. Who said that? I'm sorry, I'm feeling a bit mad at the it moment. It was a complicated relationship. There's a lot to think about. Yes, I'm not sure the heroine's helping either. Do you think that was a good idea? Of course it wasn't a good idea. I merely meant that perhaps this might be a good time to make a change and start afresh. Well, I better leave before you start to tell me to seize the fucking day. Do you think now that he's dead that you could be a little less like him? Unlikely. I merely have to do the work of two. Debbie, I'm sorry, I'm not fit for human company. Oh, don't go. Stay. Come back to bed. I can't. You know, I heard it said somewhere that grief was meant to be an aphrodisiac. Do you think that might be true? Ah! You wish. <laughs> How's your mother taking it? She's working with Save the Children in Chad. No one can break the news. Oh, always thinking of others. Indeed. What's that? Valium. That's more like it. 
By the way, I think I'm going to give up drugs. <laughs> you don't think I can? I'm a little sceptical. I've done it before. Exactly. What's so different this time? You're hardly the rehab type. And besides, you like it too much. Addicts don't give up until they hit rock bottom, and you never will. You're too upholstered. You're wrong. I'm going to get it right this time. Well, good for you, Patrick. Okay, and heroin, at least. I don't want to run before I can walk. To which end have you got any more Valium? Help me wean myself off. Sorry, last one. <sighs> Please don't take this the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Does this mean you're now fantastically rich? No. My mummy's the one with all the money, and she's very healthy. Mm. And the sun shone, having no alternative. Well, it's time to seize the fucking day. Goodbye. And goodbye and goodbye, heroin, my old friend. <laughs> People make far too big a deal about getting clean. On the other hand, air travel can be very stressful. Good luck. Mm. Don't score off the streets. I'm not going to score off anywhere. Seriously, Johnny. Look, you must do whatever you want, but if I'm to take control of my life, it has to be now. This is one of the most important things to have ever happened to me, and I want to get it absolutely right. I wish I had your determination. Thank you for the lift. As on so many other occasions, I wouldn't have made it without you. It's a pleasure. I'll see you back here in two days' time. A new man. An entirely new man. Thoughts. Remember why we're here. You're here to collect your father's corpse. Uh, my name's wearing off. Feeling just a little twitchy now. Hold on. Just hold on. Queasy, nervous, maggots under the skin, a little drowning kittens in my stomach. Fuck off! Look, can you take another route? I really, really need to get to my hotel. Mr. Melrose, good to see you again. Your usual suite is ready, and a message for you. Always eloquent. Could you please send up a bottle of whiskey and a very great deal of ice immediately? Of course. This is the lift. Here's the bottles. You're on the 33rd floor. 33. Christ, talk about temptation. Big man, sir. Oh, nothing, just talking to myself. This is the hallway. Here's your room, 3318. This is your key. It works. Here we go. You know the drill. Another withdrawal in a foreign hotel room. Bathroom light. Here's your TV. Turn it on here. And this is how you change channels. Yes, I have used a television before. Paranoia, cramps, suicidal thoughts. Thank you. Still, at least it's the last time we're among the last. 
last times. <laughs> Not this time. This time it's different. No prisoners. Concentration like a flamethrower. New day, new beginning. Trick is not to think about it. How can you not think about it? It's like not wanting to get out of a wheelchair when the room's on fire. For the best heroin in town, simply call Pierre 555 1726. That's Pierre 555 1726. Think about it. Patrick! Yes, Nanny? What you need, young man, is a nice walk in the park. <sighs> no smack, though. I want to make that absolutely clear. No, Nanny, hmm? no smack, I swear. Any quaaludes? Sure, I got quaaludes. 11, 7, 14, five dollars each. Well, I can hardly be expected to give up everything at once, can I? I'll take, uh, five. No, six. What about speed? What the hell are you buying speed? Are you mad? Hey, yo, I got some black beauties, man. They're pharmaceutical. Meaning you made them yourself. Meaning they good. Do not buy any speed. Give me three. Impulse buy. Oh, you're British, right? That's right. Did you hide in that coat? I had to give you free heroin over there. Come on, don't bother the man. Well, not exactly free. Take your coat off, man. You sweat. You want to buy some smack, British guy? I got cocaine, too. It's real good Yo, shit. Yo, I said don't bother him. I don't doubt it, but I've given that up. Yo, man, you need some water, man. I'm not an amateur. Uh-huh. Yo, you come back here tomorrow. Sir. Yes. I've come to see the cause. <coughs> Sorry, can I have a glass of water? I <coughs> a large pill stuck in a... <coughs> Not a nice saliva. I've come to see the corpse of David Melrose. You'll find Mr. Melrose at the end of the corridor. What? Uh, no, thank you. Mojito? Mint julep? Old fashioned? Oh, how did you know, Herman? Can't fucking believe it. Oh, oh, whoa there. Wrong fucking corpse. Oh. Are you sure? Death transforms us all, but it's not so powerful as to turn my father into a small Jew. Try again. Uh, but we don't have another party in the building. I want to go to a party. I want to see David Melrose. Uh, this is the correct rule. Thank you, and uh, please apologize to... No, 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 it's uh, an emotional time. Yes, yes, that's why I took a quaalude, but it must have been a dud. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Can I pick him up later? I would really like to get away from New York, if at all possible. Your father's ashes will be available tomorrow afternoon. I see. No chance of a rush job? Hmm? I'll leave you alone with him.
is it Dad? It is. It's just what I wanted. You shouldn't have. Fucking hell, Dad, what are you doing in a coffin? What happened here? You didn't want to go, did you? You knew you were going to die, and you were right. What did that feel like? Pain or rage? Were you scared? So fucking sad, Dad, man. And now you're trying to make me sad too. Boo hoo. Well, bad luck. What's up? You're shaking. What is it, Patrick? What about your mother? Do you want to tell your mother? Okay, I'll be right back. I promise. Well, that looks fun. <laughs> Uh, antibiotics. Patrick, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm sorry, too. Punctuality is one of the smaller vices I've inherited from my father. I think you know that's not what I meant. Oh, a tea, please. Oh, great. Uh -huh. Another of these? Certainly. For me, it's 9 o'clock. Yeah, for you, it's always 9 o'clock. <laughs> oh, what the hell. A martini for me, too, please. So, have you been to the... The mortuary, yes, yes. The best I've ever seen him. Well... I don't want to disillusion you, but when they give you the ashes, they're really just the communal rakings from the bottom of the oven. Well, that's good news. Ideally, they'd all belong to someone else. Mm. When I was young, he used to take us to restaurants. I say restaurants in the plural because we never stormed in and out of less than three. I remember on one occasion, he held a bottle of claret upside down as the contents gurgle out onto the carpet. How dare you bring me this filth? <laughs> Well, at least he's somewhere he can't complain about. Well, I half expected him to sit upright in the coffin like a vampire at sunset. <laughs> Call this a coffin. The <laughs> service here is intolerable. <laughs> Mind you, the service was intolerable. They sent me to the wrong corpse. The wrong corpse? Yes. Ironic that my father's remains were so hard to find, and I have no trouble discovering them in myself. Good to see you, Anne. I didn't need to see your friendly face. Wow. Well, he was a complicated man, which is why I was so keen to talk to you today. Here come the quaaludes. Patrick, are you okay? Jet lag. Kicking in. You want to go lie down? No, that's not exaggerate. Just a little sleepy. The antibiotics. Excuse me.
Mr. Melrose. Huh. All good? Mm. Hey, yeah, well. God, what happened to you in there? Splashed my face with water. What kind of water? Very refreshing water. Patrick, please sit down. You're making me nervous. Yes, yes, people say this. Patrick, I really wanted to apologize. When I found you on the stairs... No, 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 I not this. I I'd get your Retreat, mother. escape, eject, eject! I promise you I've forgotten all about it. Where is our waiter? You seemed in distress. You always did, and your mother too. There was such an atmosphere in that house. And I should have done more. Sorry. I, I, really, I really have to go. Why would we barely... I've got to go to be at the solicitors by five. Uh, papers to sign. Really? But we've only just... Maddening, isn't it? But, you know, bureaucracy, there's only so much I can do. So, uh... Mm. Look, I am grateful. You were always very kind to me ever since I was young. And and, and I am very grateful, but I, I, I really, really must be going now. Bye. Bye. We've taken Akaba. Sir? I'll have another of your very refreshing martinis and some salmon tartare, followed by some steak tartare. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Spicy, very spicy is your wine list. Good boy, Patrick. Get something <sighs> solid inside you. Don't be quiet, Lenny. Will someone be joining? <laughs> Fucking hell, I hope not. Only the best will go without. Mmm, you see, that still works. Everything is under control. Very good, thank you. But it's not heroin. Shh. Mm. Most people withdrawing from heroin high on speed, cudgeled by quaaludes and jet lag, might balk at the idea of food. But not I. I eat not from greed, but from passion. Do shut up, will you? Not you, someone else. Would Sir care for a dessert? Care for it? How do you care for a dessert? Feed it? Visit it on Sundays? <laughs> I'll have a creme brulee and a marked Bourgogne. But it's still not heroin, is it? Heroin's the cavalry, the missing chair leg. Heroin is love. Simply call 555-1726. Shut up! Everything okay, sir? Keep asking that, but... How can everything be okay? It's simply too much to hope for. Because there have been some complaints. You mean the voices aren't just in my head? Oh, fuck. Uh, perhaps I ought to get the, um... <laughs> I don't suppose I could trouble you for a quarter for the telephone. Here's the deal. If he answers, score just enough smack to sleep and a little for the morning. That's all. And if he doesn't answer, no smack at all. Leave it to fate. Good idea. One, seven, two, six. This is Pierre. Can't come to the phone right oh, now. Fuck you, fate. Me. Fuck, 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 fucking fate, fuck, fuck, fuck. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, man, we're here. You're in some bad place, you know? That's what I'm relying on. Uh, just wait here for me, will you? Crazy man, I'm not waiting here. Certainly not. I'm an Englishman. 
Can you take me to Loretta's? Sure, I can take you to Loretta's. This way. You want it, don't you? I didn't know you knew Chile. Yeah, but it, it's just a small world. Were you really going to stab me? Sure I was going to stab you. Yeah. My name's Mark. Well, thank you, Mark, for not stabbing me. <laughs> Where you be, Patrick? Oh, here and there. <laughs> Can you take it to Loretta's? Yes. Yeah, a... Oh, no. Use his way. <laughs> Man, you look good. Oh, don't feel good. <laughs> Who is it? Chilly Willie. How much you want? Uh, 50. Oh. 60. So how's Mrs. Willie, Chili? Is she well? Look what I got. You've done something to the room. It's different. What's different? Got on fire. Knew there was something. Chili says you might have a new syringe. Well, it ain't exactly new, but I balled it and everything. Is it very blunt? Oh, Christ, that's not a syringe, it's a bicycle pump. No, all right, all right. Um, <clears throat> how much? Two bags. Could I possibly use your bathroom? Fuck. Uh. Might I suggest, Chili, that you invest in a new light bulb? Hardly worth the effort. I miss the vein. You should have used the flashlight. Well, thanks for telling me. I need better works, Chili. Chili? Chili! Right then, let's do this properly. Only the best or go without. Colombian cocaine and then China white. Come on, Pierre, just be there, will you? Five, five, one, seven, two, six. Hello? Pierre, is that really you? <laughs> Who is this? Patrick from London. I'm having trouble sleeping. 20 minutes. <sighs> It's a nightmare out there. So, what was he like? My father? Oh, he was a kitten. A prince among men. He had very artistic hands. Could have been prime minister. Oh, he was a politician. Oh, no, 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 no. Sort of joke. In his world, it was better if you could have been prime minister or surgeon or concert pianist. To have tried and actually achieved something would have shown vulgar ambition. Do you regret qu'il est mort? I regret he lived. Mais sans lui, uh, you wouldn't exist. One mustn't be too egotistical about these things. Now for the cocaine. I have been trying to give this up. Now, oh, take the heroin. Actually, I 
I've dined in Le Brun, Le Brun. But I've also dined in Crudel, Khartoum. And when the ferocious young Mamani offered me a dish of human flesh, I did not allow prudishness to prevent me from requesting a third portion. Indeed, I did not say that. Human flesh, I ask you, what next? <laughs> You always wear a strange boy. Tonight's special includes a free sign of sodium free Colombian cocaine nestling out of bed of wild baby Chinese white hair. Oh, I'll tell you about the aristocracy and their filthy ways. Don't, 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 don't think about it. What filthy ways? Oh, you won't find nanny tiny tales out of school. My lips are sealed, but oh, the stories I could tell you. Please, 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 please make it stop. Please, 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 please make it stop. <laughs> Now, I want you to listen to the silence. Can you hear it? Become part of the silence. Good. Now, I want you to visualize a pagoda. Can you see it? Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes, Ron, it is. It's beautiful. Now, I want you to step into it, Patrick. Um, is there something in there? Yes, Patrick. Your mom and dad. M mom and dad? I want you to go up to your mother. I want you to say to her, I love you, Mommy. Mom, I, I really love you. Yes, good. Now embrace her. <sighs> feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it feels so good. Now, I want you to go up to your father and say, you, on the other hand, I cannot forgive. You, on the other hand, I cannot forgive. Oh, fuck off. Good. Now take a revolver and shoot his fucking brains out. Bang, 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 bang! Ah! bang! It's me. Oh, you sound sleepy. Oh, Are you God. sleeping? Have I woken you up? Oh, I'm so sorry, 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 <sighs> sorry. It's 5.30 in the morning. Well, I, I thought with the jet lag you'd be pacing the room. <sighs> Are you at the hotel? Given that you phoned me here... I merely meant I have been up all night worrying about you and wanted to know how you are. You mean have I taken any drugs? No, not just that. Why? Have you? Well, I've been shooting cocaine and heroin all night. Does that count? Was that a good idea? In the future, can we agree that no, it is not a good idea? I thought... I really thought you'd be able to make a change. Yeah, me too, but apparently that's not an option. You shouldn't be alone. Oh. I have arranged for you to have dinner with someone. No, Debbie, this is not one of your dinner parties. It's a very emotional time. I'm not in a fit state to see anyone. You need to be with people who care about you. And I've already fixed it with Marianne. Marianne? My old university friend. You passed out in her loo. They had to take the doors off. Remember? Oh, that Marianne. She'd love to see you. Any time after 7.30, I faxed you the address. Well, I've got drinks with my father's awful friends. But I, I'll see whether I'm up to it later. Remember, I, I do love you. Patrick? Patrick?
sweets, my Hi, Patrick. So nice to see you. It's so wonderful to talk to someone who understands. No ice. This is intolerable. <laughs> Everything's wrong. Everything's hopelessly fucked up! Ice! Must have more of your delicious ice, Pepper Ball. Room 3318. forever. How much would you pay for a knife like this? Before you answer, listen. It even comes with a matching fork to make carving a pleasure. Wait, there's much, much more. We also want you to have this six-in-one kitchen tool. It peels and slivers carrots, peels potatoes, and slices paper-thin potato chips. This amazing little... He's not my arms. ...carrots, grates cheese, and makes beautiful decorative vegetables. <laughs> Patrick, bang oh, on time. <laughs> Just like your father. He's very, very proud of you, but I expect you to know that. No, no, never, man. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be feeling ghastly. Mm. Well, what happened to your eye? Girl trouble? <laughs> Now that I'm responsible for your moral guidance... No, 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 nothing like that. I just, I, I picked something up on the plane. Oh, that suits you very rapish. And you'll fit right in here. Yes, I think you'll find this place amusing. I mean, your, your father did. It has all the things that you can't find in England anymore. Oh, have you had a bull shot? No. Uh, a waiter, yes, waiter. Sir. Three bull shots, please. Right away. I've invited Ballantyne Morgan. Though I suspect he's the most frightful bull. Yes, his family own a bank. At least I think they do. I've asked the question, but it's so hard to listen to his fucking answers. Here we are. The gang's all here. This is Ballantyne Morgan. So sorry about your father. I didn't know him personally, but from what George tells me, he was a great English gentleman. George, what have you been telling him? <laughs> and what an exceptional man your father was. Well, I never met anybody quite like him. He refused to compromise. Nothing but the best or go without. I quite agree. Never apologize, never explain. That was another one. Yes. Deserve everything, trust no one. All very wise. Never try, efforts vulgar. Things were better in the 18th century. Oh, and despise all women, but your mother most of all. Ah, <laughs> here are bull shots. Beef consommé and vodka. Something of an acquired taste. I've acquired it. Another, please. His father was a very impressive pianist. If you like pasties. And in conversation, too. That depends. Some people don't like uninterrupted rudeness, or so I'm told. Who are these people? True, I did once ask him to stop being quite so argumentative. And what did he say? Told me to bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of faithful gun dogs. Sorry? 
Are you interested in hunting, Patrick? Oh, Christ, here we oh, go. Oh, Christ, here we I go. I thought you might be interested in a story. The thought you never have is that someone might not be interested. I'd shot this Tanganyikan mountain goat, the last male of its species, which, of course, was a rather bittersweet moment. For the goat, certainly. Oh, I've got a hunting story for you, Valentine. It's from my father, Nicholas. You know the one. You might Steady enjoy this, on, Valentine. Patrick. My Enough father was now. a cavalry officer stationed in India in the 1920s, and he used to go pig-sticking, galloping through the high grass with a lance, hunting wild boar. Very dangerous, these wild boar. They could take down a horse and gore a rider to death, but thrilling, too. Anyway, the only blemish on this particular trip, I think I heard this story when I was, what, eight, was that one of the hunting party was bitten by a wild dog and developed the symptoms of rabies. Three days from the nearest hospital and this hunting party of judges and generals decided to truss up their foaming, thrashing friend in a net and hoist him off the ground. Dinner, Dinner was served. served. There were lanterns down the table, gleam of silver, well-trained servants. None of us could quite enjoyed dinner you know, with all that screaming, so I got up from the table, fetched my pistol, went over to the rabid man, and shot him in the head. Much, Much the, the kindest, kindest thing, thing to do. do. Everyone, Everyone agreed, agreed, eventually. And that, I think, was the beginning of my love affair with medicine. Please. Could I possibly trouble you for a paperback? Now, Marianne, I have half a gram of coke, a fifth of heroin, one quaalude, one black beauty, a few lines to get the conversation flowing, a quaalude for Marianne to get her in the mood, or perhaps pity is the way, in which case use it for the come down sleep on the plane. My God, you're good. Then you're home. Thank Christ for Concord. Johnny will be waiting and... Well, let's see. Hello, I'm Patrick, Marianne's friend. Nancy, Nancy Banks, we have met. Yes, of course! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, a bit distracted. It's just, um... Yes, Marianne told us. Is that him? Mm. I'll tell Consuela there'll be one more for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne! Yes. She is dying to see you. Oh. Jerry, you remember Patrick, lovely Debbie's boyfriend. Mm. I turned blue in your bathroom. <laughs> we had to take the door off. Yeah. Yes! Uh, come in, come in. Yeah. Marianne says he was a remarkable man. Mm. You should have heard the remarks. <laughs> was it a difficult relationship, Patrick? Yes, Nancy, yes, it was. When did the trouble start? 9th of June, 1906, the day he was born. Well, fatherhood was very different in those days. Mm -hmm. Yes, perhaps he just didn't know how to express his love. Cruelty is the opposite of love, not some inarticulate expression of it. That sounds about right to me. Oh, Marianne. Although, that's not something I've ever had to worry about. Hi, Patrick. Hello. I'm so, so sorry for your loss. You're the answer. You're the one to save me. Can't you tell? I want to be buried right here. If I could have you, I'd give up drugs forever. Goodness. <laughs> or at least have someone attractive to take them with. Can we go out to dinner? Please say yes. Does this look all right to you? Absolutely. I love Armenian. 
Are you going to be hot in your coat? Oh, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, then... A little. Well, off it comes. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps I should take my eye patch off, too. I'll leave it on. Two martinis, please. One. And I'll drink. Don't you? Bad sign. Very, very bad. I don't know if it blurs the edges and dulls the senses. Your point being? I absolutely agree. I don't usually either, but, you know, grief. <sighs> Say something. Remember how this is done. Something other than lies or ridicule or contempt. Debbie sends her love. Not that, you fucking idiot. Sweet, Debbie. How is she? Oh, she's a great girl. <clears throat> very, very supportive. Change the subject. She tells me you're studying law. That's right. At Columbia. It's really tough, but I love it. You know, I once thought about studying law. I imagine myself in 12 language men being terrifically articulate, <laughs> writing wrongs. You would have been a wonderful lawyer. Thank you. Yeah, you absolutely should do it. Why don't you? Because hard work and ambition are vulgar. Oh, my God, you don't believe that, do you? Me? No, 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 that's what he said. Well, you have an education, and... Thank you. I mean... And besides... <sighs> you're not your father. You are absolutely right. You know what? I feel inspired. I need to do something about it the minute I get off the plane. <laughs> New man. Do you hear that, Dad? I'm going to be a lawyer. Patrick, I'm concerned about the box. Debbie, I think it counts as hand luggage. No, 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 I meant. Could you put it on the floor? Yes. Let the waiters kick him about. Revenge at last! Uh, you get away with it just because he's dead. Get away with what? Sorry, will you forgive me? I thought you liked Armenian food. The martinis are excellent. They fuck you up, your mom and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. Who says they don't mean to? <laughs> tell me, did you ever tell your dad how you felt about him? Not while he was alive. Probably for the best. Why? I mean, what would you have said to him? I, I would have said... I would have told him nobody should do that to anybody Thank else. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. I, I took the question seriously. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You were saying? Oh, uh, just that... Patrick, I, um, I should be getting back. No, 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 Mary, I, I, We've always had a connection, haven't we? I mean, no, I'm, I'm not just imagining it. Well, no, I've always been very fond of you and Debbie. I don't suppose you want to do a quaalude, do you? Sorry for being a bit screwy. No, it's an emotional time. Taxi! Good night, Patrick. Oh, good, uh, yes, good night. Good night. You know, um, <clears throat> sometimes I, I, I think if, if I was to meet the right woman, someone intelligent who wasn't afraid to challenge me, I might actually be able to get my life back in order. Please, stop. You are making a fool of yourself. No, please, don't go. I really need the company, or I don't know get what I'll do. Get the fuck off of me, you self-indulgent little shit. What is wrong with you? I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, but look, please, don't go. I... Look, I don't want to be on my own tonight. I can't. There isn't anyone else. Just sit with me. Don't leave me alone. But you're not alone. Let's go. She's right. You're not alone. And you never will be. Death and destruction, shame and violence, ungovernable shame and violence.
toss you down the loo, send you to the sewers with the alligators and the shit. <laughs> jump out of it. Well, it's not as if you don't have the means. Anesthetic first, surely, Doctor. No, Patrick. Scalpel first. Anesthetic afterwards. Shh. You're safe. Nobody can find you here. But what if nobody finds me here? Good God, what an appalling dump. You see what I'm reduced to? Your mother will be delighted. I can see her gloating when you report back. Now, left or right? Don't mind. I'm a very tired man. Come and talk to me, Patrick. Patrick, come and talk to your dear old dad. Just go ahead and finish it.
The sun shone, having no alternative on the nothing new. So that's the common consensus. There will be rivers of blood, and the wicked shall be drowned. Nor shall the high places be spared, and the bridges shall be swept away. And men shall say that the end of the world cometh upon them. And they shall have a point. They shall have a very good point. <laughs> well, no one can say I don't know how to have fun. Your limo is waiting. And we hope you enjoyed your stay with us. Joy isn't the word. I loved it. Sir, Mr. Melo, sir, you nearly forgot this. Oh, did I? Sir? What I mean is no need to call Vienna. Thank you very much. Oh. So, rivers of blood, eh? Sir? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Johnny, Johnny, can you hear me? Patrick, how are you? Oh, fine. I tried to kill myself last night. My God, where are you calling from? The bottom. Christ, are you all right? Patrick, tell me when you land, I'll come and meet you. Um, look, I, I, I haven't got long. Can you hear me? Yes. I decided I'm going to take control of my life. I'm going to get clean. Hello, Johnny, can you hear me? such a fuss about these things. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Patrick. Patrick, what are you going to do instead? wonderful spot here. We are going to turn it into a home for alcoholics. Which, in a sense, we have. I want my mother. 
Your father gets jealous. You mustn't refer my company to his. Perhaps when you're older, you'll be grateful for the skill of detachment that I've instilled. Patrick Melrose, I kept hearing you died. Only once or twice. Is it true you've given up drinking? Yes, that's all over. Still not given up irony, then? Oh, what a seduction of all. That need to mean two things at once. What I admire about Princess Margaret is the way she puts everyone at their ease. Oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. Wipe. Seamus, this gift of Eleanor's about the house. Don't go picking out the wallpaper just yet. You're right to feel betrayed. She failed to do the one thing that she was obliged to do, to protect her son. I've tried so hard, given a different sort of childhood. But they're just fresh mistakes. One, two, one! You can't keep this up. At some point, you have to let it all go. You can take the brandy out of the fruitcake, but you've still got the fruitcake. No, you can't. I'm so glad you turned out well. I think the secret is not to interfere. What will you do with your life? I wonder.